How many people actually died from poison booze during Prohibition? The answer is way more shocking than you think. Between 1920 and 1933, the United States didn't just ban alcohol. The government actively poisoned it. This wasn't an accident. It was policy to stop people from drinking industrial alcohol, which was legal for things like fuel and manufacturing. The Treasury Department ordered companies to denature it. This meant adding toxic chemicals to make it undrinkable, but bootleggers were clever. They hired chemists to remove the foul taste and sell the alcohol anyway. So, the government doubled down. They mandated adding even deadlier poisons, including methanol, also known as wood alcohol, which causes blindness and death. They also used kerosene, mercury salts, and even a strict nine-like poison called brucine. Officials openly defended this, calling it a deterrent. But how many died? It's tough to get an exact number, but the estimates are horrifying. Historian Deborah Bloom, author of The Poisoner's Handbook, calculates that at least 10,000 Americans were killed by government poison alcohol. Some scholars, looking at federal mortality stats from the era, believe the number could be as high as 15 to 20,000. Many deaths were misdiagnosed as acute alcoholism or heart failure to hide. The true cause. And that's just from the government's program. Bootleggers also produced their own deadly rock gut moonshine, often contaminated with lead from their stills. The U.S. Public Health Service reported that over 35,000 deaths were caused by all types of poisonous liquor during the Prohibition years. There were horrific mass poisoning events on Christmas Eve of 1926 in New York City. A single batch of toxic liquor killed dozens of people in one week in 1928. Over 700 people died across several states from a contaminated patent medicine called Jamaica. Ginger, newspapers were filled with stories of people going blind or dropping dead sparking massive public outrage. Journalist H. L. Mencken famously called the policy legalized murder. This tragedy disproportionately affected poor and immigrant communities, whose deaths were often undercounted. The constant stream of fatalities, however, turned public opinion sharply against prohibition. People began to see the noble experiment not as a moral crusade, but as a deadly public health failure. This growing disillusionment was a major reason prohibition was finally repealed in 1933. Ultimately, tens of thousands of Americans died. It was a dark and controversial chapter in U.S. history, a terrifying example of a government policy leading to the mass death of its own citizens. It's a cautionary tale that still resonates today. Thanks for watching. If you found this piece of history as fascinating as I did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the stories you thought you knew. See you next time.